Um, hello everybody, this is uh, Longshank78 coming at you with a new haul video. Um, this haul consists of like eBay purchases, um, I think a, a comic book convention, Santa Clarita Comic Con, I think it's called. Um, the, the hell is that place called? I always forget, I always call it the Packing House. So, uh, Claremont Packing House and uh, Spiro's Heroes. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get started. Um, the first two books are from uh, eBay. Uh, Weapon X told me about this uh, lot he saw on eBay. He, like, this was like this with uh, seven other X Men books. I guess try to self buy it, and I did. I got it for 11 bucks. It's this and like seven other books. That was pretty cool. This is uh, Uncanny X Men 307, the Pressman variant. So, 11 bucks shipped. That was cool. And I got this on eBay too. This is a this is a previous series, like before this current one. This is a Moon Knight number two. This is the what's the guy's name? Of course, I forget his name right now. <laughs> this is the one fifty number two variant, which is pretty cool. It was a Phil Noto, Phil Noto or Noto. I got this for eleven bucks shipped. I was gonna pay twenty bucks at a store once, and the guy didn't want to go down to twenty because he had it for twenty five. I'm glad he didn't. All right, the next stuff is from the Claremont Packing House. These are all, I got like six books for a dollar. I didn't really find that much stuff there. This is uh, Uncanny X-Men number 316. First appearance of Monet. And this is the, the harder to find, like more basic uh, cover or whatever, because it doesn't have the hologram foil. Uh, she has like three first appearances. It's more annoying than Domino's first appearance, but whatever. This is like the first time you ever see her. So for a buck, I picked it up. Because I had the other one, the the other, the shiny version, I was looking for this one. And then I found another one of these, uh, X-Men number four, first appearance of uh, Omega Red. The only reason I picked it up is it was another newsstand. Now I got two. Dollar. It's Transformers number 74. The low print run, like from 71 to 80. Now I got two of them, so I need eight more to go. That's pretty cool for a buck. And this is uh, Dark Hawk number 49, the second to last issue. You probably get like 15 bucks for this. Yeah, I got it for a buck. Still looking for that 50. Like, he had he had all of them except for that 50. I guess somebody grabbed it right before I did or he knew about it. I don't know. It was a buck. So. Yeah, I've been looking for this for a long time. This is a Daredevil Man Without Fear from the first series. Number 380 is the last issue. I don't know. I couldn't find the damn thing. It's like, it's hard to find. I guess it's a little print run too. Or a buck. All right, the next stuff is from that Santa Clarita Comic Con or whatever. This is a uh, What If number four from the second What If series. Uh, I guess the the big deal about this is because the first time uh, the Venom the Venom uh, symbiote jumps on uh, the Hulk. I already had this, but mine was like kind of beat, so it was an upgrade. I got this for what did I pay for this? Oh, I think it was two. Yeah, two bucks. Then I got Power Pack number one, just for experience of Power Pack, two bucks, newsstand. That's cool, I didn't have it, so whatever. Found this uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 11, I guess the Lugs variant. I don't know, I don't know, I guess Lugs or Shoes or something. <laughs> I found it for three bucks, so I picked it up. Still like a $15 book. This was cool. Uh, this is uh, Wishblade number 10, first appearance of the Darkness. This is the variant issue, because it has a different cover, so now I got them both. Pretty cool. I got this for three dollars. I got this Ghost Rider variant. I don't know what series it is, but it was uh, it was five bucks. So I picked it up. That was cool. Uh, I got this uh, Wonder Woman seventy two. He had a ten dollar price on it, but it's it's like it's like real. Uh, the hell is Curry Force? I'm forgetting everything now. <laughs> well, it's like kind of Browning. So uh, he knocked it, he knocked off five bucks. I got it for five bucks. I don't have it, so I can leave it there. I'll still try to upgrade it later. I guess it's uh the significance is the cover by Brian Bolin. It's like a popular book. I could never find it. That was cool. Uh, and I found the strain number one for uh, ten dollars. That was cool. Like I didn't, I kind of wanted to find it like stealth buy it somewhere for like cheaper than that, but ten bucks is not that bad because it still goes for more than ten bucks. And I picked up uh, Action Comics number 361, uh, Neil Adams cover, second appearance of the Parasite. <laughs> I like the black guys. He, he actually gets his ass kicked like this in the comic book, which is pretty cool, because usually covers are, you see something on a cover and nothing really happened in the book. But it was funny. It was a nice copy, too. 
Uh, I found this uh, graphic music number one. I think it's the first Madman in color. I got this for uh, 15. It goes for like 20, but 15 doesn't seem that bad. So I was alright. And it's really nice. It's really clean. Well, I'm not gonna... uh, Transformers number one. I've been looking for this for a long time. Got it for 10 bucks. I didn't want to pay like 20, 25 bucks for it. 10 bucks seems reasonable. So I was like, alright. I think this is the last book I picked up at that con. This is a special Marvel edition. The Hands of Shang-Chi, Master of Kung Fu, number 15. First appearance of Shang-Chi. This was uh, 30 bucks. That's probably, I, I, really don't, I don't like really paying that much for books, but 30 bucks seemed reasonable. I mean, the condition's decent. Well, all right. And the rest of the stuff I got from uh, Spiro's Heroes, which is pretty cool. I got like all the all these books. It's like I think it's nine books, and I got it for thirty five bucks. So this is a Weapon X First Class, uh, the one in twenty five variant. Thought it was cool. I picked it up mostly because Deadpool was on the cover. I got a Captain America three hundred seven first appearance of Madcap. <clears throat> now all I need is a. I think the first appearance of the, the Terror, like St. George number two, and I have all the Deadpool mercs for money. And I picked up some Neil Adams stuff. Uh, this is a Superboy number 160. I was like, I've been watching a lot of videos, and you guys keep showing all this Neil Adams stuff, and I, these are like two covers that I wanted just, just because, of the vid, because of the vids I've been watching. Now, uh, this one was cool. And this one's the one that actually is my favorite, uh, Super Superboy 163, because he, he looks all crazy. kind of looks like... Evil Bizarro or something. <laughs> but it was pretty dope. It was pretty fun reads too. And I got Superboy number 171. First appearance of uh, Aqua Boy. So, whatever. And I picked up uh, Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane. Number 106. This is the first appearance of uh, Rose and Thorn. Why not? It's a key. So this was funny because it was like... Ghost Rider number one, they had a sticker on it that says uh, Neil Adams variant. I'm like, Ghost, I mean, Neil Adams did a Ghost Rider variant? I didn't even know about it. And then I'm looking at it, it doesn't even look like Neil Adams, but I was like, all right, whatever. It was five bucks. It had a five buck price on it, so I was like, who cares? So I grabbed it, and I saw this on the wall for five bucks. I'm like, this looks more like Neil Adams, but yeah, it turns out this is the Neil Adams variant. <laughs> so I, I got this one too. I just picked them up both. That was cool. The coolest thing I picked up was this stuff. Uh, Brave and the Bold, number 30. Third appearance of the Justice League. First appearance of uh, Amazo and uh, Dr. Ivo. So, I mean, this book's beat, though. But it's like, he had it up there for 10 bucks. The cool thing, it's, it's complete. And it's still attached. Like, it's got this, like... Uh, let me put it back here so I can show. It's got tape right here. It's got, like... I guess it's like the cover's still on it. This isn't the other cover. It's just I guess it just got scraped off up here and here. But I mean, shit. <laughs> For ten bucks, I was gonna I wasn't gonna leave it there. He actually has a. I don't know if you guys want to go down there and pick it up because he had two more books. I think he had Justice League number three and five. I think it's the first appearance of a Kanjara Row, and one is the other one is the uh, first appearance of Doctor uh, Destiny. I think. Yeah, the those the only reason I left those because uh, the I think the number three looks good the Kanjar wrote but it's like the the front cover and the back cover are just separated like but they're still together they're just separated from the book so you could like just put them right back on and the other one's just like it looks nice from the front but the back's just beat up but I mean this one, I couldn't leave this though I mean, this is cool yeah so uh, yeah guys that's my haul hope you enjoyed it.